Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, do me a favor, hit the little like button. And if you haven't done this yet, subscribe. I mean, if you like knife content, if you do, you've come to the right place. If you don't, well, you know, hang out anyway. You never know, you might learn something or I might from you. And I do enjoy that part, the dialogue back between my audience and myself, because you know, I'm not perfect. They get stuff wrong sometimes and believe me, they are fast to let me know but that's how we learn and I am totally okay with that. So enough of that rambling, what is on the table? This is the Urban EDC Supply, and that name is a mouthful, Nessie. Why Nessie? Well, this is a Nesmuk shaped blade and the Nesmuk is a very old, very, very old fixed blade shape that has proven itself time and time again. And so when the folks at Urban EDC Supply decided to make themselves a really lovely titanium and M390 running on bearings frame lock nest muck in the form of the Nessie, I was really excited about it. And then I missed the opportunity. I just didn't get one. Uh, they have since become available to me. But in the meantime, Lefty over at, uh, well, our friend, dear friend Lefty, right? Um, he had one that he was willing to move along. And so I grabbed this up and I'm very glad that I did. This is a really excellent working tool. It really is. So thanks Lefty. I appreciate it. Let's talk about what you get. First, it has a micarta backspacer, which is just an absolute trip. I don't know how well it's going to show up in this weird evening lighting, but it is beautiful. Um, it looks a little bit like carbon fiber because it's the cross cut. It's just really nicely done. It's got a nicely milled titanium pocket clip. The blade is chamfered and smooth, and it's got a little bit of a stone wash to it. It's quite, it's quite lovely, actually, and it really, they did a great job. The M390 on this thing seems to be done just right. It holds an edge like crazy, and I have cut a ton of stuff with this over the last few weeks. It's got some jimping on the blade right where my thumb, in fact, lands. That's rare. Often it is too far forward or too far back for me, but it is right where my thumb lands. But the blade itself is chamfered in such a way that, well, you just, I mean, look at it. Look at the way it's done, right? When you turn this way, it sort of disappears because it comes up to this nice lean line. But your thumb lands right where you want it to. The handle shape is very comfortable, even for my big old hands, right? It really is good to hold. The action, well, can't go wrong with it. Smooth easy to deploy, comfortable in hand. They've done something really nice here. Now, I'm a fan of the Ness Muck shaped blade, enough so that one of the few budget-friendly knives that I keep around is the Revo Ness. Now, when this knife came out, the first thing I said was, "My man, I wish somebody, anybody would make a high-end materials version of this knife. And lo and behold, here we are. However, if you don't want to spend the 240 bucks or whatever these things are, you can't get yourself one of these. The folks over at Revo do a really nice job too. That's another review for another time, but just something to keep in mind. So let's get some specs out of the way and then we will do some size comparisons. The overall knife is just shy of eight inches. We're looking at seven and three quarters, right? Blade length on this guy is, uh, looks like three and an eighth inches of cutting on just shy of three and a half inches of M390. The grip area from behind that flipper tab, one, two, three, and three quarters, which is why it fits my hand like it was made for it, right? I come right to the end. If I squeeze up on the, on the, the flipper tab, which also functions as a hand stop, I, I can get a little bit of knife out the back, but comfortably, it's just like that does not have what I would call a subtle closed profile. Excuse me while I apparently drop it on the table, but I mean, it's, it's over an inch and a half at its thickest that you definitely know this thing is in the pocket. The knife itself is just over a half inch thick, right? But it's relatively slab side. It's consistent all the way up and down. My one moderate complaint, and I bet you guys can guess what it is if you've watched even one of my videos, is this. There is no reason for this much knife to be sticking out of your pocket when it is down in... 
seriously do better. <laughs> it's my only complaint about this knife, and it's not insignificant. I don't know if they left it this far out of the pocket because they wanted to make room for this enormous lanyard hole, or if they just... I don't know. But there was plenty of room here for a... It didn't have to be super deep carry, but deeper carry clip, because I don't want the whole world knowing that I'm carrying a pocket knife all the time. That's just annoying. However, the rest of this knife is so good that I overlook that fairly regularly. This thing has spent a ton of time in my pocket, as you can tell by all the fingerprints and smudges on it. Closed length, one, two, three, four and a half inches long. I kind of like this pistol grip shape. You guys know that. This has been on the table all week, so I might as well share it again, right? I like knives that have a, a nice big blade and then sort of come back down this way. I like that shape, that sort of forward angled cutting. And of course, the Nesmuk style blade has been around for ever, hundreds of years, because it is exceptionally good at what it does. This is a really nice knife. Let's do some size comparisons with other tools that you may be familiar with. Here it is against, oh, here's the Quiet Carry Drift, which you may or may not be familiar with, but it is one of my favorite smaller knives, as you can see, the uh, Urban EDC Supply. <laughs> Nessie just dwarfs it. Here it is against the full size. Presidio 2, which is considerably larger than the Nessie. And here it is against our old friend the Bug Out, just because everyone on the planet seems to know what this thing looks like in person at this point. As you can see, the Nessie's got a little more blade and a lot more handle and just a lot more knife overall, right? What do I think about this knife really in the end? Well... You guys know I love straight titanium, right? Nice blade steel. This is one of those knives where I can comfortably say, if you're sitting around thinking, do I need that? Should I get it? Would I use it? Yeah, they still have them and you should get one. I don't say that easier a lot because it's not my job to sell knives for other people. It is my job to bring them forward and share them with you. It's not really even my job. That's more my passion. But this is one of those knives that's so interesting and so well done that if you're thinking about it, right, if, you're look, if you've looked at one and said, well, maybe that is for me, I don't know, grab one. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> anyway, Kevin over at Left EDC, thank you so much for uh, putting this in my hands. I really appreciate you, brother. Uh, for the rest of you, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the uh, Urban EDC Supply Nessie, or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having a great day. Enjoy your knives, and uh, we'll see you next time.